This is how you give a Shorky a bath. A Shorky is a Shih Tzu Yorkie. This is Reese. She's our three-year-old Shorky. Say hi, Reese. Reese has dry skin this season from the weather change. So the shampoo that we're tending to use today is by Pet Head, which we like, and it's called Life is an Itch. So it's going to help her stop itching. First, before you give your Shorky a bath, you want to pet her and calm her down and know that everything's going to be okay because our Shorky is not a fan of water. You want to make sure that the water is a lukewarm temperature so it's not too hot and not too cold so the pet is in a comfortable position. Ready, Reese? We tend to use old beach towels so that the dog doesn't ruin our good towels. <laughs> When you put the dog in the water, you first want to get her completely wet so then you can lather in the shampoo. You can put your paw down, baby. When you tend to wet the head, you want to hold the head up, making sure that you don't get water in the eyes because it is irritating to the dog. Now that the dog is fully wet, you're going to open the shampoo and put a dime size amount in the palm of your hand. You're gonna lather between hands and then rub it on the dog. You don't wanna put too much shampoo on the dog because that will cause dry skin and then you'll have irritation all over again. The shampoo we're using has aloe vera, oatmeal, and tea tree oil to help soothe her itching skin. I'm going to put a little more shampoo on Reese because her irritation is by her belly. So I'm going to make sure to coat that area for her to try to relieve her itching. As you didn't want the water to get in their eyes, you're also going to make sure when you apply shampoo that it stays free of their eyes. Smells <laughs> like watermelon. <laughs> when you're lathering, you're going to want to make sure to get in the areas that are somewhat tucked away, like her thighs and her armpits. Now that we're done lathering, we're going to let Reese sit for five minutes, which we've already done for the sake of this video. And so now that she's already set and lathered in, we're going to rinse her off completely. Again, when you're rinsing off, make sure to hold the head so nothing gets in their eyes. I'm sorry. Our little Shorty looks like a seal when she gets wet. She's fully rinsed, we're gonna dry her. And just beware, when our Shorty's wet, she gets really, really fast, or so she thinks. There's no shaking until we're done. When you're drying, you wanna try to get as much water off as possible especially around the ears, because that can be irritating. You smell good. Yeah. All right, come here. One 
one second. The shampoo we used, we got at our local convenience store, Walmart, but you can find it at Wegmans and Price Shopper as well. Oh, there she goes. That is how you successfully wash a shorty. Thank you very much.